video today on the place value model. So in second grade, third grade and up, mostly second, third and fourth, I think they do a little bit of this in first grade, but mostly definitely in second grade and third grade, we use uh, drawings to help us to understand the place, uh, well, place value and um, to help with addition and subtraction. Okay, so in my previous videos, I have talked about using place value to add and subtract. So today, I just want to show you a quick video or a quick lesson on using the place value model and how your kids will show you um, as they're coming home from school this year what their teachers are teaching them. Excuse my gum. What their teachers are teaching them in school. And so the place value model is pretty much some representation in a drawing to show what each number looks like um, as it is drawn or what each number represents pretty much, okay? And so this would be more of an abstract um, way of thinking about this, okay? I'm going to show you today is more abstract. So once they've actually used those manipulatives um, and they understand how to use them and what they mean and they have attached that representation to the actual number in their brain and their brain can figure that part out then they can go more towards what i'm getting ready to show you today okay here i've already have it set up here for standard form and in my previous videos i talked about what standard form expanded and word form are okay and we know that the standard form is just the number itself which is 127 that's the number i'm going to use today and so the place value model that I'm going to show you, or a picture, or a drawing, or what have you, I'm going to show you to represent these numbers, okay, um, is pretty, pretty simple, okay. In my class, um, I don't like to have kids draw out their place value, uh, their base 10 blocks, like exactly how they look, because one, it's not efficient. It takes too long. And their lines get all over the place, and then they're trying to draw those ten rods, and there are hundreds of blocks, and it just it just looks a mess. It looks it's scary to look at. Okay, so I take it to a step a step simpler than that. I'm tripping over my words today, so excuse me, y'all. But I take it back to a step that is more simplified than them drawing out those um, base ten blocks. Okay. So, for each place value, I have a symbol that represents that place value. So, in the ones place, any numbers that are ones, I draw circles for those. Okay? So, if you have a seven in the ones place, you're going to draw seven circles. Okay? The tens place, I draw what are sticks. Now, if you actually get a hold of some base ten cubes, you will see that they look like little sticks. Okay? Um, except they, oh, excuse me, a lot skinnier and smaller than this, but they look like 10 tiny little cubes all connected together because that's what it is. It's a base 10 block, and that represents 10 because it's 10 of those tiny cubes connected together. So I just have them to draw one line straight down, okay? And I would just say draw sticks. That's exactly what it means, and they know that that represents 10, okay? In the hundreds place, I have them to draw a square, all right, because your base 10 block, which represents 100, is 100 of those teeny tiny little squares all connected together, and it creates a, um, a square, okay? All right, and so forth and so on. We draw like a cube for 1,000, but we're not going to go all the way and do all that today, okay? All right, so... This number, I'm going to show you exactly how this will look in picture form. So we have 100. That's one square. Two tens. We have two sticks. And then we have seven ones. So we have seven circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here we have 100, 10, 20, 120. 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 
and 127. So 127. Okay. And I teach my kids how to add and subtract using these pictures. Okay. Especially how you will represent these numbers. Okay. So here we have the hundreds place, tens place, and the ones place. So when we're first starting out in late first grade, early second, middle second grade, we have them to uh, split their three-digit number or their two-digit number just like this, okay? And label each letter, each number with a letter, H, T, or O, hundreds, tens, or ones, okay? All right, so let's take this number, 127, and let's add a number. So let's add, let's add 27 more to this. So we'll do 127 plus 27. So that means we're going to add seven more ones and two more tens. Five, six, seven, oh, oh wait, I was right. My count's off. All right, so here we go. So here I have 127 plus 27. So I just added 27 more to what I already had. Now here I start by telling the kids that you cannot have more than 10 ones, more than nine ones, sorry, in the one place because if you have enough to make 10, then you those go in a bundle and you move them to the tens place, okay? So, here, I have 7 here and 7 here. I automatically know that that's 14, but a first grader or maybe in a second grader probably won't know that. So they're going to count them out. And they're going to all count them one by one. And this is where we want to get them away from eventually is, is counting one by one. I want them to be able to understand either that 7 and 7 makes 14 or at least getting to them to understand that, okay, I already know I have seven here, so I need to count on. So I'm going to say seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's where we want them to get to that point. So I have fourteen of them here. I'm going to take a group of ten. So again, that's seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm going to circle those, cross them out, and move them to the next place value, okay? Now, I have them to cross them out to show that they are no longer in the ones place. Those 10 ones have been bundled together to create a 10 rod, so they're now a 10. They are no longer 10 ones, they are now a 10, okay? So now, what do I have left in the ones place? I only have four ones left. In the tens place, I have one, two, three, four, five tens, so I have 50. And I have 100 left, so I have 154. Okay? Or if you wanted them to write it in expanded form, you could go here with four ones plus five tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, plus 100 which equals 154. And you guys can't see that because of my light. Let me move it up a little bit. That's a little bit better. Okay. So here we have 154. Okay. All right. So that essentially is the place value model. It's pretty much just showing this number in a picture form using what your kids will be using in school, which is called base 10 blocks, all right? Um, I, if I were you parents and they're not that expensive, I would look them up and see if I could find some. If you can't find any actual physical ones, there are plenty of websites out here, and I'm going to try to link some below, where you can print some base 10 blocks, right? Where you can actually print some and maybe get them laminated, um, to be able to make your own set of base 10 blocks, okay? And if you can't get them laminated, ask your child's teacher. Say, hey, I print, I found some base 10 block um, online, um, some printable ones, and would you please laminate 
this sheet for me. I'll cut them myself if you could just laminate them for me and and just get it back to me. Uh, if your child's teacher knows that you are willing to do what it takes to help your child or help them help your kid, it's your child now. I'm pretty sure that they will find a way to laminate it for you. And if they can't laminate it at school, most teachers have laminators at home where they're laminating their own stuff. Okay? Or you buy the laminate and give it to the teacher. Because I'm pretty sure she has a laminator herself at home or she brought it to school, which a lot of teachers do. And then if you buy the laminate, I'm sure she don't mind laminating it for you. That will be even more helpful. That way she's not having to spend, you know, this stuff costs money, friends. So do whatever it takes, okay? Do whatever it takes. We just don't want our kids just getting by. That's not what we want, okay? So, again, here's the place value model. And it is just a way for us to be able to show our kids multiple ways what this number actually means, what does it look like, how do you manipulate this number. That is all that this is. And this is exactly what North Carolina Common Core is expecting your kid to know, learn, and understand and be able to do. They want them to know it, understand it, and be able to do these things with these numbers. Okay. All right, so if you have any questions, any comments, if you would like me to make a video about a different topic, um, go ahead and leave that below. I will, um, if I don't necessarily know it, if it's like a fifth grade, fourth grade topic that I don't really necessarily know, because I haven't taught fifth grade or fourth grade, but I'm pretty sure that I can study it up and figure it out and teach it back to you, because that's pretty much what you do in teaching anyway. You study it, and then you teach it back, okay? Um, that's how you know that a person knows something if they can learn it and then teach it back. That's how you know they know. So, if your child has learned something in school, or from you, or show them this video, they might learn it from you. Okay? Free charge. Alright? So, the way that you know that they learned it is if they can teach it back to you, or can they teach it to someone else. Alright? You want to make sure that your child is doing most of the talking, because the person doing all the talking is the person who does all the learning. Alright, so please, 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 please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell right next to the subscription button so that you can continue to enjoy these videos with me. I will be posting another uh, math video very, very soon. I'm going to go ahead and start working on that one today so that I can get it ready to be posted and sent out to you guys on next week. Come back to my channel for all my motherhood videos. Um, Alright, 